And we've been tracking that uptick in volcanic activity in Iceland for the past few days right here on Fox Weather. Max Gordon joining us now to tell us more about the Reykjanes Peninsula, where an eruption is potentially imminent. Max, uh, what's the latest? Yeah, Ian, well, today volcanic gas has forced another evacuation of the town of Grindavik, which had previously been evacuated because of seismic activity and fissures that had formed in the ground. Residents in the town of Grindavik had previously been allowed to return to collect belongings and animals, but now they're being evacuated again after sensors detected an increase in sulfur dioxide, which is an indicator of potential encroaching volcanic activity. Grindavik, located about an hour to the southwest of Iceland's capital, Reykjavik, has been the focal point of the latest seismic and potential volcanic activity. Today at around 11.30 a.m. local time, the Icelandic Meteorological Office said that there had been about 700 earthquakes detected since midnight near the lava tunnel that flows near Grindavik. If an eruption takes place, it will likely take place at that lava tunnel. Local media outlet RUV reports that crews have begun gathering material from gravel quarries in preparation to construct defense walls that will surround important infrastructure from any lava flows. One of the spots where crews will be constructing defense walls is the geo geothermal power plant in Svartsengi. Excess water from the Svartsengi power plant is actually used to fill the popular tourist destination Blue Lagoon, which shut down last week because of the fears of the volcanic eruption. But there is some good news. New data suggests that if the volcano does erupt in the Grindavik area, it's likely not going to be explosive and won't release massive toxic ash and smoke plumes like what was seen back in 2010. That plume back in 2010 had major impacts on international air travel. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.